when I first turned pro, 17 or 18, they made this players of distinction thing and they actually made us go to Sheffield, but I didn't go into the arena. I refused to go into the, they wanted us to go in and get photos taken and I, and I said no, I said I didn't want to go. So the first time I actually walked, to, walked out to the arena was, was as a player, which I wanted to do. I was buzzing, I was playing O'Sullivan as well, so yeah, I was a young cocky kid then, so although I was buzzing and, and nervous and that, I was just wanting in, I was just wanting, I mean, come on, now we'll play. I've been there a few times now, it's still, I still go in and sit down and go, oh, this is, it's just too, it's too tight, it's just far too tight, and it's got a different, it's got a different aura about it, the, 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 the Crucible, and I'm no, I'm not, big, I'm not the biggest fan of it. No, I like, I'm too big and I don't like sitting next to the guy and playing because for that moment, I don't like him. Sheffield at that time of year is buzzing. The sun's out usually. Where, where the crucible is, it's just full all the time. So it's hard not to get a buzz from that and it's the biggest tournament. I've played there twice in the semis. I've liked the, the arena a lot better because all of a sudden it goes from too small to just a, a completely different arena, and it, it's, it's a special arena when there's one table. If somebody says to me, you're not going to win it, would you still keep playing snooker? Of course I would. I think it would mean more to my family than what it would to me, because if I win it, it would all be for them, and I would maybe take about 5% credit and obviously the money.